All right, here's the gig. There's a lot of activity on the ranch this, this day. Far off farmers over there plowing, people over there probably burying bodies. We don't want to know what's going on. Today we're going to review your swing. So, Mr. Cameraman, away with you. As you'll recall, when we last left, Mr. Kettlebell, we were learning how to swing. It goes a little something like this, Dino. Like that. Now, incorporating that into the things that we already believe in, push-ups, pull-ups, squats, I'm going to show you how to incorporate a push-up, a squat, and a swing for a five-minute workout that you will not be able to complete and that will make you head and shoulders above in shape beyond anybody you know. Yeah, it goes for all you little ninjas out there who think you're CrossFit. All right, we're going to start out in a push-up position. Now notice where my body's at. It's not down like this. I'm not signaling Pluto. We're just in a push-up position. Thumbs are over the bell. I'm not gripping, I'm over, just in case I fall. I hope not. That could be dangerous. We're gonna breathe in on the way down. Out on the way up. We're gonna hop forward. There's our flexibility, agility, and lower back strength. Pick this up, give it a love tap, swing, and then back down. Now, do 25 of those nice and strict like that. It'll be amazing. Your heart, your lungs, everything gets worked. If you step back one more time, Mr. Cameraman, we're gonna do a couple in a row. Should look like this. Pause, my back is straight, my butt's up in the air. Press up, jump forward, swing, down, back, up, press, down, swing. Boom. Working outside is fun to use your kettlebells around. Practice that slowly, methodically. Incorporate maybe 10 reps every other day. Do this every other day. Get your walk in. Don't eat garbage. You'll be in ridiculous shape. I can't wait to see what we're going to do next. Can you, Mr. Cameraman? Goodbye.